Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you had a fantastic holiday season. I have a few December boxes that came in late, so let's finish up December and we're gonna start with my Ipsy Plus. So let's get in here and see what I've got. December is the last month that I will have all three of the Ipsy boxes that they presently offer. They have the original bag, which is $12, the Plus, which is this one, which is $25, and the Ultimate, which I will be unboxing in just a few minutes, which is $50. This box has five items and we get to pick three of them. For each of the other bags, we only get to choose one. Now, this is the last month that there is an ultimate and I'm getting ready to unbox it. But moving forward with February, they're going to have a quarterly box now that's gonna be the Glam X bag. And they will take either your Glam Plus or your original Glam bag and turn it into the Glam X bag. And it is $55, so if you upgrade from your original, it's a $43 upgrade. If you upgrade from your Plus, it's a $30 upgrade. It is entirely up to you whether you do it, obviously, but so far the February one is looking really good, so I am definitely gonna jump in there for the first one and we'll see where it goes from there. Okay, this is my December Plus, so let's just open it up in theory. <laughs> with no surprises, I all know what's in here because I did pick three and they told me what the other two products were. I think I also did an add-on. Let's see. So that's what we have on the inside. And interesting, it came in a box, not a bag. So reaching right in, we have our bag. And I like the bags this month. They're kind of furry. This is the same style that the Plus is always in now. This one looks like a Santa sack. It's a little late, I'm past Christmas now. But it looks kind of like a Santa sack. And it feels, it's much softer than, the original one felt like shearling, but this one feels like a really soft microfiber. It feels really nice. There's something in it. Oh no, there's nothing in it. My paperwork, I heard the crinkle but they've just lined it. What they've lined it with is a fabric that really crinkles. That's kind of neat. I have to admit, I will probably find a nice use for this. Let's see what the paperwork tells us, but not to worry, I have printed out the paperwork on my products. This says home for the holidays, which we're a little late for. These came, one of them came like the day before Christmas and one of them the day after. So I didn't have them to do before Christmas and this doesn't have my products on the inside. I don't think in the Ultimate or in the Plus anymore we're gonna get them because there's so much customizing. But it does give us a little more information on the back about the Glam X bag, and it says, introducing for 2021 the Glam X. Level up your Glam Bag Plus to Glam Bag X, a quarterly limited edition drop of seven to eight full-size products worth up to $350, and three you choose curated by beauty's biggest celebs. Snag February's bag before it sells out. I have already done that. It says that you will have expert curation. Up your artistry with pro fave brands selected by Glam Bag X's debut collaborator, Patrick Ta, which is when I knew I was staying in. Okay, I have the information that I printed out and I'm gonna show you first the things that they chose for me and then I'll show you what I chose. This is the Verify 2020 phytoglycogen and peptides eye cream. I'm going to take this out and show it to you guys. That is what it looks like. But I looked up all of the ingredients before we started this and this has licorice root in it, so I can't use it. But it's sulfate, paraben, mineral oil, phthalate, fragrance, and silicone free. So it sounds fantastic. If only it were licorice free. And unfortunately, I got this in this box, spoiler alert, and my ultimate, because I saw them and I'm like, they're giving me, they literally gave me the same product in both boxes. So I emailed them the very first day they showed them to me, but even at that point, there was nothing they could do. So basically they just apologized, but I knew I could pass it on to you guys, so I'm okay with it. Ooh, it's a nice glass bottle and it's a deep green. It looks really posh in person. I hope that comes across. Verify skincare, and I have written on here. First of all, I'm not sure why my printer prints out my notes so big, but it does, but in case I was afraid I would forget and start slathering myself in it, I've written licorice really big. $68 value, so I am super sad I can't try this. 2020 eye cream, 15 ml, full size. This do-it-all eye cream uses a cocktail of hydrating, firming, and brightening ingredients like niacinamide and peptides to minimize dark circles, soften lines, and smooth, rough texture. So it sounds fantastic, but I'll have to find it a good home. 
Okay, reaching in next, what they chose for me is the Tula Skin Care So Polished Exfoliating Sugar Scrub. And usually, and I thought this was kind of ironic, Tula is another product that quite often puts licorice in their products, but I read the ingredients and this one did not list licorice. You see me looking at the back of the box like, mm, it didn't list it online, shall we be sure? Yes, I do not see licorice in here. And this, like everything that comes in the Ipsy Plus is full-sized. I keep saying full-sized, but everything that comes in this box is full-sized. This is 2.9 ounces, and that is what the tube looks like. So it's hand size. It has a $32 value and it says made with natural sugar particles. This exfoliator helps buff away excess oil and dead cells without stripping or irritating your skin. I'm gonna count on that. Plus, it's packed with probiotics and superfoods like sugar, pineapple, and papaya to soften, brighten, and renew your complexion. Twice a week, gently massage a dime size amount into damp skin using small circular motions. And it is 100% cruelty free, which by the way, so is the under eye cream that I just showed you. So, so far two for two with cruelty free. I'm going to try this. This is falling into my whole new category of I'm going to start trying these things, things that have like pineapple and papaya, a lot of vitamin C. I used to kind of steer away from because if you have sensitive skin, those are really, they're aggressive. But with my whole new leash on life of, if it's too much for my face, I'll just use it on my hands and my arms because all the hand washing. So I feel like I can be trying so many more things on my face now because if it doesn't work out, I'll just use it on my hands. So hopefully it will give me a little wider net to cast to maybe find something to buff up my skin. Okay, I took the safety seal off. And I guess that's my dime sized amount that I would probably be able to do my entire face with. Oh, it's got the sugar grit in it. I really, let me know below, what do you guys think? I really prefer the sugar to salt scrubs. I like the size of the grit generally with a sugar scrub. Oh, pineapple, it smells so good. It smells like a nice summer cocktail actually. Mm. I've just spread it out some and that's what it looks like. Oh my goodness, guys. It smells so good in here now. Actually, I'm kind of craving like a pineapple juice in Malibu right now. Mm, that smells so good. I'm gonna go ahead and actually, I mean, why not benefit both hands? All right. Mm, the back of my hand smells so good now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm, I'm wishing for summer. And they are, oh yeah, they are soft. You know what, whether my face can take it or not, I might start using these things on my hands just to keep it in better shape. Now we're getting into the things I chose. I will tell you, I have laying on top here. This is not something I chose. And this is not something I added on. It is a IT Superhero Mascara. It is not my favorite mascara. I know a lot of people love it. I am not even gonna open it because it's sealed over here. I'm just gonna leave it perfectly sealed so that I can tuck it in a giveaway because it is not my favorite mascara. A lot of people love it though. I, I am seldom looking for volume. I mostly want length in lashes and I think for me, this gives me more volume than length. So I will pass it along and wonder why it is in my box. Interesting. And next, and I am so excited, finally I have some complex culture. Everybody was talking about it last month. A lot of people got it in their boxes. I did not. I get the complex culture brushes and I love the quality of them. And they have eyeshadow palettes now and this is a, oh, I was like, why can't I see it? Um, glasses. This is a Set Go Translucent Powder. And that's what the box looks like. And I am so glad to finally be able to try some of their makeup. I know some people have tried it and commented below they don't love it. And some people have tried it and commented below they really do like it. So I'm kind of anxious to give it a try. This is what it looks like when you take it out of there. It's just a translucent powder. The paperwork says it has a $28 value and it is 8.22 grams. It is full sized. The talc free, which automatically I love, Loose powder formula flawlessly sets, blurs, and mattifies your complexion in one simple step. It's used with hydrolyzed silk and ceramides to draw moisture to the skin, plus botanical rich blue lotus flower to give your skin a soft, radiant glow. All right, even though it says it mattifies, I'm still excited to try it because most setting powders mattify. I, every time I put my foundation on, I put all my creams on, I use a setting powder very lightly all over my face, and then I mist. My favorite is probably the Anastasia Dewy Mist, but right now I am using, uh-oh, 
Who is it? It's the one that smells like coconut that we just got in a box. Mm. I'll have to let you know right here. Every day. I reach for it every day. And it has the best sprayer on it. I really like it. But I have to use a mist after I use a setting powder. I don't think we're going to be able to tell much. I just wanted to show you guys. It has a nice deep well, which I like. And it has one of those nets. See, it's the kind with a net. See? Oh, wow. I can shake it out. And it's just really, it comes out really fine. See how finely milled it is? And that feels like silk. That is so nice and smooth. And I love that it's talc free. Yeah, I'm definitely trying it. It definitely mattified my skin. There is no doubt about that. See how it mattified it? Which I think is a little aging, but that's what setting powders do. So just when you're done with it, take your nice mist. It's amazing. I don't know what they did before mist because I think that it makes all the difference. I love how much it does away with the matte look. And let me show you this. See inside the lid, it's, it dips down in and this is, it feels a little silicone-y. So since this dips down, when you put it on, so I bet if it fell upside down right now, let me even shake it a little bit. I bet that helps stop it all from coming out, which is actually kind of handy because I drop things a lot. Yeah, it stopped it from coming out. That is, I like that a lot. Okay, next out, I have an r and Co. Centerpiece All-in-One Elixir Spray, and it is 5.2 ounces. That is what it looks like. I really like the r and Co. products, and they're gluten-free and vegan, and this offers uh, sun protection, UV protection, and the paperwork says, Centerpiece All-in-One Elixir Spray has a $32 value. It is a multitasking elixir that hydrates, nourishes, and makes styling so easy. It's packed with sea buckthorn oil and hyaluronic acid to smooth strands, amp up shine, and fight frizz and static for hours too. Comb through clean, damp hair, then style as usual. Cruelty-free and vegan. Is the complex culture cruelty-free? Yes, of course. So, so far, my entire box is cruelty-free. Uh-oh, is it? Is the it cruelty-free? The it superhero does not brag about being cruelty-free. Hmm. Well, I will look it up and let you know right here. That's interesting though. So everything so far that was supposed to come in my box has been cruelty free. Let's see what this smells like. R Co products generally have a scent. So let's see if this has the same one. Oh, it's not as misty as you think. Oh, that's way different. That smells so good. Yeah, I can't wait to try this. I love, my hair is not happy. It wants to break, it, it's a little dry. You know, I haven't had a haircut in a year, just almost a year. It's way too long, so my ends, actually, I don't have a lot of split ends, but it wants to frizz a little bit, which you would think would be from split ends, but they're not really split. My hair is so thin that by the time it gets down here, it's like four little wisps, like, help us. Anyway, <laughs> I know, that was a weird little visual. Moving on. I have another Complex Culture product. And this was the last thing that I chose. It is the Overtime Contour and Blush Duo. And that is what the box looks like. Cruelty free. So everything that I chose and everything that was supposed to be in my box was indeed cruelty free. All right, this is what the case looks like. And it is a hard plastic. And it says that the blush is gonna be pink slip and the contour is power player. Swipe and swirl. Swipe the contour and swirl the blush on. All right. They're really pretty. Let's see how dark they are. They look a little darker than I thought they were gonna be, but they're really, oh yeah, that's very pretty. So this is what they look like, the blush and the contour. Let's see how they swipe. Oh, very pretty. Oh yeah, I like these colors a lot. I was afraid looking at the palette they would be too dark, but they go on really nicely. Those colors, I think they're gonna work for me. That's always exciting. All right, and the top, this whole top is a very nice mirror. Overtime Blush and Contour Duo in Pink Slip and Power Player, $35 value. This contour and blush set is exactly what you need to sculpt and brighten your complexion like a pro. Both powders are infused with nourishing ceramides and hydrolyzed silk to make your skin look and feel, <laughs> I feel like, ooh, cliffhanger, didn't turn the page, silky smooth. <laughs> And that's what we turn for, silky smooth. So it's gonna make you look and feel silky smooth. It does, it is very nice. Let's see what happens. Wow. 
I'm telling you, look guys, you saw what I just did. That was just with my hand. It's gone. So we'll see how it does when I have a primer on. There's no primer on my hand, some setting spray, but I just wiped that away with my hand. I'm not a makeup artist. Is that normal? I well, we'll see. I have been wanting to try the Complex Culture makeup product, so this will be the perfect chance to try it. Now, my add-on. I got the Beauty Blender Bounce Liquid Whip Longwear Foundation. It is a full-sized one ounce, and I got it in Blend 1.2 C, which I think, I think it said Fair Cool online, but that's what it says about the color, and that is what it looks like. I have actually used this before. I'm not positive. I purchased the last one just at a Sephora, so I don't have a note of it. See, if I get it in a box, I'll make notes about things because I want to be able to tell you guys if somebody says, hey, you know, three months ago when you tried the fill in the blank, I want to be able to answer that question. But I don't always do it with the things that I buy on my own, and I didn't, so I wasn't positive what color I chose. And this is what it looks like out. It looks like a pretty good color. And this button on the back, I don't even want to admit to how long this took me in the beginning. That button on the back just makes it so that you can pump. And then the beauty of it is, it's got a little, it's the shape of a beauty blender. So you can just squeeze it out and then take your beauty blender and pounce in it. And just use this as your blending tray. I liked it for that a lot. All right, let's take this that I just squeezed out and see how close I got with my color. Actually, I think I'm pretty on point. I mean, anything that was fair and cool had to be pretty close. But that is it on the back of my hand. So I think it's probably gonna work. It might be a little light, but I have some darker ones that I can always swirl into. I went back and looked when I did my paperwork, but I never got a receipt from Ipsy for this. And I'm not sure if it was a $12 add-on because I think they had some $12 add-ons this time or whether it was 16. Either way you look at it, it's a $40 product that I paid either 12 or $16 for, and I like it a lot. All right, so that is my December 2020 Home for the Holidays Ipsy Plus. And they chose for me the Verify 2020 Under Eye Cream and the Tula Face Exfoliant. And then I chose the r Co Hair Oil that you use when it's damp, but it says it's gonna fix everything. And I am very excited for that. The Complex Culture Setting Powder and the Complex Culture Blush and Contour Duo. Now, I also had, for some reason in here, this IT Superhero Mascara, which I will pass along. And then I added on the Beauty Blender Pounce Foundation in 1.2, and that is a $40 value. And like I said, it was 12 or $16. I'm not sure which one. And we got this really cute bag, and it feels so, it feels like, it wants to grow up and be a Barefoot Dream sweater. It feels so soft and nice. It's not quite that soft, but it's awesome. Thank you so much for coming by, guys. I really appreciate you taking the time to be here, and I will see you again really soon. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I have more videos coming out, and take care out there, guys.